deep holes in the rocks. That's a pretty good one right there. Let's see if anything eats it. Nah, it didn't feel deep. Um, Tell you what, if you never used peeler crabs, I would definitely try it. Definitely would try it. Where's that hole? It like slides down some rocks and it goes right in. Like it's it's deep. It's definitely deep. You can definitely. Is that it? Nah, I don't think that. Oh, they took it off. Maybe that was it. it felt something. It wasn't big. Try it again. Oh, for these, uh, pretty much cut them in half. And then all I do is follow the sockets and cut right along and try to uh, keep the sockets for to hook. Because if not, uh, it'll sl it just comes right out. Uh, it's the hook doesn't have anything to fasten to, and it just kind of falls out. So, and I noticed the lungs, the little black part, is a little more firm. So I try to go through the lungs if I can. All right, here we go. Trying to find that one again. I think it's like right there. Yep. There we go, quick. Little tog, right off. I would say he's about uh, eight, nines. Little tiny ones. All right, put another piece on there. There's a bump. There's gotta be a bunch of them down there. Oh man, that was a good one. There was a video from a while back. I caught a tog on a lobster tail. We uh, lost our deep freezer. That's what happened. That's why I was using it. And um, the, uh, yeah, it just blew. So, um, so we lost power to it and then everything started to melt. We moved everything as quickly as we could, but we had some frozen lobster tails in there. They got a little bit too warm. Um, so to be on the safe side, I do. Yeah, we decided we weren't going to eat them. So I, I used it as bait to see if Tog would eat it, and yeah, they they ate it. <laughs> they don't seem to like the clam because I have no bites, as opposed to the peeler crab. As soon as you drop it in there, they'll eat it. Yeah, they don't they don't like the clam. Okay, switch back. Like I said, the only the only thing I don't like about these is how hard they are to to hook. Because you got to try to find that like sweet like spot to them. Some of them are really really soft, like some sockets. And when they are, there's you're not going to get it to hook. It gets stuck.
grab some sand fleas. I'm gonna keep it in that hole. Trying all types of bait today. Alright. That went right down. Like a perfect drop. Yeah, it did. Hey, bit the head. Cleaned it out. That's a uh, usually that's the sign of a tog. See the insides, they eat the inside of the shell out. There's nothing left. Those little teeth. Try it again. We go right through the middle, but I'm gonna cut this in half. Uh, That's a bad idea. <laughs> I didn't have enough slack. And I was like, oh, I could try to drop it, but that's usually how snags happen. And I've already lost three or four, so I'm not trying to lose any more. Something's biting it now. Ah, oh, man. I can feel them. Oh, come on, fish on. There we go. It's a better one, much better one. All right, definitely not a 16 inch keeper, but it's definitely a better fish. Here we go, that one is just, oh, it's about 11 and a half on that one. It's a pretty good one. Pretty cool. Try it again. Um, when I find these holes like that and they're biting out of the hole, I keep fishing the same hole over and over and over. Um, it, because there's, if there's one, there's a whole bunch. They kind of school up down there. So that's what I'm gonna do is just keep, keep fishing the same hole until there's no more. And then when there isn't, I find another one just kind of move on to the next hole same thing I'm just gonna hook it right through the middle cut the uh, more towards the the head right here. right here these are frozen same ones I got on acetic not too long ago and then I'm gonna it's right where the digger is I'm gonna cut right behind it cut it in half And then the same hole. Let's see if there's another one. Yep. Took it already, see? <laughs> All right, try it again. You don't have to cut them in half. There's like, honestly, five million ways of uh, using sand fleas. It's just, I guess, preference. I found, I did a video before, I was on 2nd Street and I was using fiddler crabs and I was cutting the fiddler crabs and the ones that were cut were a million times better. The bite ratio was so much higher. He just took it right off. That was it. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've been doing now is um, cutting every th cutting crabs and stuff. Anytime I have crabs, cut them in, in half or whatever. There's got to be a bunch of them down there because I'm getting either little subtle bites or big bites like that. That was a big bite. I'm going to cut the back off as close to the hook as I can. Same as what I was doing before. I think what they're doing is pulling the back and then all of it's coming off. This is the one. Feel it. I feel it. That's the one. Gotta 
be quick though. Yep. I told you, that's the one. All right. It feels like another 14er. Really? Open up. Oh, you're gonna do that. Okay. Fine. Make it hard. It's another good one. Let's get a measurement. Same thing. Uh, just shy of 14 on this one. That's still not a bad fish. I mean, he's still pretty, still pretty big. All right. Get him back in. Since I just caught the bigger one on that like little double hookup thing, I'm gonna do it again. Only thing I don't like about that is it takes it takes some time to hook it to like prepare it, but I feel like the it it does well when it works. But you have to the trick is you have to pull the digger off because if not the hook point is not exposed enough and the digger gets caught in it and you can't set it right away that bottom bouncer yep he's a charter boat he's a good captain all right Oh, he's foul hooked. I'm gonna get him back in as quickly as I can. Hold on there, buddy. Try it again. I feel like sometimes I'll go and do this. Hook it through the tail, the very back. And then once it's through, you gotta be really careful because if you're not, you'll you'll break the crab. But once you get it through, I bring it up towards the top, and then I try to hook it again through here. So it's kind of on like in there like hooked twice, you know what I mean? But you gotta be really careful. Because if not, you'll break the you'll break the, the shell the shell cracks, and then you can't um, you can't use it. And then pull the digger off. So it's buried in there pretty deep, but you can see the hook is still kind of exposed a little bit. So we'll try that. That's a good one. <sighs> Biggest one of the day. Holy crap. He just inhaled that thing. Whew. Definitely the biggest one of the day. He is 14. 14 inches. See his teeth. That's a good one. All right. Do it again. See what I mean? It's the same hole over and over and over until they don't bite anymore. That was that little one that I was just feeling. Get 
Gotta open up. Open your mouth. He doesn't want to. Alright. You and that other one. You both wouldn't do it. Little tiny one. Not really any big size. This actually might be the smallest one of the day. Um, eight. Yeah. Not a, not a huge one. Get him back in. Tell you what, all throwbacks or not doesn't matter to me because I just like to fish. But the big ones, I love feeling that, that fight to them. Yeah, I think that hole's empty. No bites. I think that last one was the only one just kind of lingering around. Oh, that's a good way to end it. <sighs> Perfect end to the video with this guy. Mr. Toadfish. So that's it. That's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,